guys, it's Mary and today I want to talk Christmas in Greenland. So, in the villages of the Polar Newts, family like to visit each other and have parties. They drink coffee and eat cakes and exchange brightly wrapped parcels. Traditional presents are model sleds. A pair of Polish walrus tusks or skills, seal skin mitts. Everyone in the village gets a gift and the children go from house to house singing songs. On Christmas Eve, church services are held and most people go to them, many in national costume. Some men wear the white and on rocks, which are worn on special occasions. Christian trees have been imported because no trees grow as far north as Greenland. The trees are often imported from Denmark. Iceland has had a long historical connection with Denmark. Which makes no sense because we're talking about Greenland. <laughs> well, yes, it does. I don't know. Anyway. The trees are decorated with candles and bright ornaments and sometimes small versions of seal skin birches known as kamiks. Trees are traditionally decorated with on the evening of December 23rd. People who don't use imported trees might have a traditional driftwood tree decorated with he heather. Another traditional and popular decoration is to put an illuminated star in windows. I have no clue why this is like not doing. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with this thing, but whatever. There are stars in most homes and in public buildings. Because Greenland is so far north and within the Arctic Circle during the winter, the sun never rises. You might get a brief glimpse over the southern mountains, but that's it. So the stars help bring some light. Villages also put a large tree on a nearby hill so everyone can see it. The trees are put up and decorated ready for advent. This. Okay. I'm just gonna fill the rest of this here and then go from there. St. Lucia's Day, December 13th, is also celebrated in Greenland, as in most places, it seems like. Hmm. Okay, it's working better now than when it was on my laptop, so we're gonna have to do this off laptop. I'm learning. There are some rather unusual foods eaten at Christmas time in Greenland. Matik is whale skin with a strip of blubber inside. It is supposed to taste like fresh coconut, but is t often too tough to chew and usually swallowed. Another Christmas food is kivak. This is raw flesh or little oaks, a type of arctic bird, which have been buried hole in seal skin for several months until they have reached an advanced stage of decomposition. Although it sounds strange, it is a delicacy in Greenland. Other popular foods in Greenland include sausage, which is soup, stew, barbecued caribou, fish either as raw sushi or cooked, and a popular dessert is berry and apples with a crisp topping. A lot of Danish pastries are also eaten. It is traditional on Christmas night. The men look after the woman, serving their food and coffee and stirring the meal for them. Games follow the Christmas meal, including one in which an object is passed from hand to hand around a long table under the clock. It's supposed to be repulsive round clammy and rough in texture such as a frozen egg wrapped in strips of wet fox fur. Greenland also claims to be the place where Santa Claus lives or at least goes for his summer holidays. He is said to have a home in the north of the country in Spurgelbert. New Year's Eve is celebrated twice in Greenland. Once at 8 p.m. they celebrate the New Year has reached Denmark and I'm a night the New Year in Greenland. At both celebrations, people like to eat 
like to let off lots of fireworks and rockets. Okay, that was a little rough filming, but I hope you guys enjoyed. So, love you. See you. Bye.